Well, I, no one in their right mind. I don't. I, I, I've not encountered too many people that that considers that to be a positive thing to be a freak of nature, you know, because it certainly doesn't do much for 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 me in my personal life. Uh, you know, it's nothing but a hindrance. Wesley Warren Jr.'s life has become more difficult since 2008. He has a growth weighing more than 100 pounds on his scrotum. It is a large scrotal edema, a swelling of watery fluid around his testicles, a rare condition usually only seen well, in Asia and Africa. You know, it's it's sort of like uh, it's sort of like a, a two-headed uh, uh, the the, the two-headed uh, human spectacle that used to travel around the, the, the circuses a hundred years ago. <laughs> you know, people look and they stare, and I expect that. Warren attributes his condition to the accidental strike of his testicles by his own leg as he twisted and turned upon awakening. Overnight, he said his testicles swelled to the size of a soccer ball. Dr. Mulageta Kasahan, a local urologist, examined Warren. And after the scrotal trauma, you know, slowly his uh, scrotum is increasing in size. Um, in Western countries, the main cause are either radiation or some kind of chronic urinary tract infection or scrotal infection. Um, trauma is very unusual. Warren went to UMC for help, where a team of doctors, including urologists, surgeons, internists, and infectious disease specialists, wrote up 20 different documentations of what they found. Uh, it's treatable. Uh, the only thing is, um, you know, I asked him to do the surgery and also we referred him to uh, UCLA to have the surgery. Worried that treatment in southern Nevada could result in his castration, Warren has started to exhibit his condition to the public to try and find help. He appeared on the Howard Stern Show earlier this month, and he hopes this will help him raise the $1 million it will cost for a surgery at UCLA Medical Center in California. The largest audience that I can think of, the largest male audience on TV or radio in this country is most likely the Howard Stern Show. And if I need some guidance, help, assistance in any kind of way, somebody that runs a hospital that to crawl out of the woodwork or a doctor, it would be um, other males that would have empathy or some sort of sympathy for what I'm going through. The only thing is uh, he has to go a major surgery. It's very expensive. Uh, at least he needs, you know, uh, a staging surgery, like uh, maybe two to three times. The first one is removing, you know, the tissues around the scrotum. Uh, and around, I mean, his testicle and, uh, you know, his uh, phallus or penis. Uh, then, uh, we have to, uh, you know, uh, cover the area for a while and uh, see, you know, how he is doing. And then uh, the next one will be completely removing it. And the third one is to cover it with, you know, plastic surgeons. You know, you, ha you need another new tissue. Warren's penis is so buried in his scrotal tissue that he can't direct his urination and often sprays the area around him. A trip to the post office in the bank takes him nearly three hours and he often has to rest while walking short distances during running errands. Warren battles daily bouts of depression that he says reduce him to tears for minutes at a time. When I think about the penis being sucked into the, the testicle sac, unable to use it like a normal 47-year-old person uses a penis other than for it to just dribble urine out when it comes out, I think a lot of other people that are not stronger would have at least attempted suicide by now. So I think I am well deserved of my five minutes every, every couple of days. <laughs> That's right.